let's look at how to randomize the order of elements in an array. So first of all, I'm going to need to be able to random numbers. So I'm going to include a few things here. So I want my C time because I want to generate a seed. And I also want to include my CSTD lib for random numbers. So first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and just um, set up our random number generator. So I'll initialize the random number generator. Random number generator. And the way I do that is by first getting my seed. So it's an unsigned int. And I'll call it seed. And I'll make this a static cast. And it's going to be unsigned int. And I'm going to get it from the time. So a time. And I'm going to pass it in the null pointer. So this will get me a seed I can use. And now I'm going to use the srand in order to initialize it with this seed. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to create an array. So have this be an integer array. And it'll be an array of a couple of numbers. I'll do one, two, three, four, five. And this makes it so it's much easier to tell when it's actually mixed. And I'm going to tell you the count. So count is five. Then I want to actually have a function to do the mixing. So I'll do a void mix array. And I'm just going to pass in my array. And I'm going to pass in the count. So I'll take that, copy that down to the bottom, where I'm actually going to write the definition. Right now it doesn't need to do anything because it's just void. So I can go ahead and write the rest of this. So I'm going to then mix it. So I'll mix array. And I'm going to pass in my array and my count. After it's been mixed up, I want to display the array. That way we can see if it's actually been mixed properly. So the for loop here for int i equals zero, i is less than count, i plus plus, and then I'm just going to display each of the array elements. So C out, and this is array the index, and I'll put a little blank space so it doesn't clump them all together, and then I want to have a end line right here. So it makes it easier. All right. So if I run this right now, it'll actually run, even though mixed array does nothing, because well, every all the parts, the essential parts are here. It'll just display all the code or all the numbers in the correct order. So one, two, three, four, five. In order to mix it, now that I've got the random number generator all mixed up, I'm ready to go ahead and do some things. So I'm going to go through each one of the elements in the array and just put them in a random spot. But I'll do some swapping. So do 4 int i equals 0. i is less than count. And i plus plus. So I'll go over each one, and each one is going to be swapped at least once. Potentially twice. So the int j equals rand. And I want it, so I is going to be the one I'm going to be uh, swapping, and J is going to be the position it's going to be moved to. So, mod count, and then I can just do a swap. So, STD swap, and that will use the addresses of each one. So, I'll do array I swapped with array J. And so that'll swap them, and this will take care of it. 
So it's a very simple array, a uh, simple formula just to mix it. But I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that it rearranges the order. So it's 5, 4, 1, 3, 2. I run it again. And you can see it's 5, 3, 4, 1, 2. Go ahead and run it again. And 5, 1, 4, 2, 3. So it's, it's mixing it up. And this is all you need to do in order to mix an array up.